What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Long Shot. So, what's this about some ceremony over at the rec hall tonight? Bunch of grown men fawning over football players. Lord, I do not get it. Thank you. Yeah, I'm back at work, so I don't think I'll make it. Are you serious? You push around a wheelbarrow. Hey! Day. At least someone in this house is working. 22 years old and still have your mama coming over and cooking and cleaning for you. Yeah, well, nobody asked you to. That show's a waste of time if you ask me. Head in the clouds just like your daddy. Yeah, way better to be stuck here in this dump hole getting applauded by nobodies, huh? Hey, Colin Cruz, don't you talk to your mama like that. Fine. I'll go start the car. You know, not everyone's destined to be a big star, you know. You boys need to get that into your head. There you go. Listen, Colt, he, he looks up to you. Just, just think about what I said. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give him a talk. Oh, you look just like your daddy. Now, go on, get out of here. Go on. <sighs> this stinks, man. I gave everything up. To move back home, and now what? What was that worth? Why'd we quit? Shouldn't have quit. What are you doing? Look, Deb. I put up with you for a long time, man. I've tried to be supportive through everything. But I've just gotten to the point where I'm at. I'm just done. You want to waste your talent, you go right ahead. But if you're going to quit, you know you need to tell him. Keep driving. <laughs> no. I ain't moving. I'm so sick of doing everything the great Devin Wade wants just so you can waste every opportunity we have. You don't get it. And most days, I wish I wasn't state champion Devin Wade. It, it, it's, it's exhausting being responsible for someone else. You know, I, I just want to be me. You just want to be you. You is all you seem to care about. But flying solo hasn't worked out so well for you, has it? Anything ever happens to you, the wheels just come flying off. You just throw your hands up in the air. Well, guess what? I'm done being the one to pick you up, Dev. What? <laughs> Look, you don't know what it's like to lose your dad. I don't. Did you ever meet my dad? Because I sure didn't. Your father was the closest thing I ever had to a dad, but you don't think about that because all you ever think about is yourself. But at least you had your mom, man. I didn't have anyone after my dad died. Not anyone? Come on, Dev, we're like brothers. But after your dad died, there was just, there was no talking to you. Listen, people die, Dev, but you can't just abandon everyone that cares about you, okay? Life goes on. Man, you shut your mouth. I'm gonna put up with this crap. You need to hear this. See, you always tell yourself you tried, but guess what? You never really tried. The first sign of trouble and you head for the hills. That producer flipped out and boy, did you see a green light and run. Cause that's all you do is run. You know what, Dev? I've been meaning to ask you. Those three picks against Oregon, did you throw them on purpose so you could run away? You really think that little of me? Wait, no, Dev. I, no, I don't. I don't have to hear this, man. Dev, wait. Look. Oh. Woo. Damn, man, you did that to yourself. This is 
is what he needs. I'm proud of Colt here. Oh. This is what Deb needs. 100% no doubt. A little tough love. You gonna take a break? I came in late, gotta make up for it. If you say so. But you're gonna make the rest of us look bad. <laughs> I've been making y'all look bad. Well, I gotta say, it's uh, cool having you back. Although it's temporary and all. You won't be slumming with us once those big NFL paychecks start rolling in. <laughs> mm, right. Hey, Dad. If you could be on time tomorrow, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, you bet. Yeah. I don't wanna look weak in front of my crew. <laughs> your crew? <laughs> That's why your pop's name's on the sign. It don't even say and sons. <laughs> <laughs> How about I fire you, and then we'll see who the boss is. All right, all right, calm down. Just funnin' with you. <laughs> Man, I see things haven't changed, huh? <sighs> Tell me about it. A lot of great memories here, man. But greener pastures ahead, right? Yeah. Got that right. So whatever happened with the show? Man, I want to know the game that the stands were packed to the hills when we play. All right, here we go. Sophomore Rashi year. Way to throw. And he is set. No, no, no way. He breaks out of it. Woo. Oh, dude. Truck him. He stiff arms the tackler. Game before state? Man, our team was so beat up. Man, how in the heck were you playing on both sides of the ball? Come on, nah. Devin, I'm putting you in at free safe. Coach. No way. If I tell you a rooster can pull a wagon, you hitch him up. You want to win this championship? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I won't lose it down, coach. Go on out there and make me proud. 24 to 0. And I think it goes without saying here, oh, Randy. Oh, man. We're actually playing it, too. This is going to be cool. Definitely, Cal. That is good analysis on your part. We give up another score here. This game's all but over. And he fires one. Incomplete. Drive starts with a whimper. Awesome. Okay, let's start this comeback. Let's kickstart this Dude, I'm this kind comeback. of excited about this. I was not expecting this at all. This is pretty cool. All right, let's lock him down. Second and 10. It's complete. Now, Serena just got lucky on that play. Exactly. Just lucky. All right. Now, we need some luck. Come on, Lady Luck. This actually isn't, uh, this isn't easy. First and ten for the Serena. We've got a Serena first and ten here. Let's try to get a turnover. What do we say? Nice. Play there. Gotcha, Serena. Can't run from this pass rush forever. Got the sack on him there. Second and 23. Gotta get this turnover, baby. Two receivers to the bottom, one to the top. Let's watch the eats. We're just in man to man defense. This is. And he's got a man here. That's oh, complete. shoot. They're able to complete it. What did you see on that completion, Randy? Well, who do you think I am, Charles? They haven't even come to our he's man yet. Ball, that's all. I so we're doing a good I job don't playing know D. How to analyze. Running back and he's 
Dang it! I thought we were gonna have the sack right there, but he was able to get it off just barely. All right. We need to stop these guys. First and ten for Sarita. He's gonna flip that out to the flat. It's complete. Loss of three in the play. We'll take it. Dude, this is. How long are they gonna keep us in here? And what was wrong with our our other safety? They're in the shotgun. Keep an eye on number 18 here. And it's incomplete. That's gonna bring right, incomplete third. pass, third down. Let's force this turnover here. Ugly. Who's called plays out there, huh? Looks like an offense from the 70s. Lock him down one more time. Number 19, Defense Clements. looks like they expecting a throw. Nice. All right. All righty. Devin and the defense did their part. Forced the punt, right? Yep, yep. Serena better watch out for Storm Stop. Sanson. He is due for a big punt return. I wish they would have went to one of our guys. I would have loved to get a, a pick six or something. I feel like that would have made an epic story, but uh, I guess not. Never even threw it to our guy. Didn't even get to swat it away. 24 to 7. Folks, if you got up to go to the concession stand during the be on the, the offensive side of the ball this time. Just like Randy predicted, Storm took the punt 80 yards for the score. That's right. Then they fumbled on the next play. We got right. the ball back. I'm like the master of Nostradamus. Huh, Kale? Oh. And his first look is incomplete. I thought he was going to have that. I threw a bit of a bullet. Probably should have went with the, uh, the lob, but it's all right. Second go. and ten. Circle square and circle. Circle, baby. Yes, sir. And it'll be Dean Marcus on the right side. And they bring him down right past that 40-yard right. line. Ran right through the Having contact there. That was good really stuff. Really good game. Dean Marcus had himself about 100 Let's catches we last next. week. Or at least it felt like it. Let's go, Bullfrogs. What are they going to do? look for circle. If we can. Way to throw. Whew. Hit Colts anyway. Oh, baby. Oh, oh my God. They can't take him down. No way. No way. Oh, my God. What a play out of Colt right there. That was beautiful. I didn't really see anybody open. He used my last ditch effort there, and he got it done. That was, that was fantastic. I'll take it. All right. So that's going to bring us within, uh, within nine, within ten. Gonna be back on defense. All right. Dude, this is so weird. Defense again. We're all nervous, Cal. He gets hurt. We're done. Oh. I was hoping he was gonna try to throw it out to the flat right there. We were gonna pick that, no doubt. All right. Second and twenty-three. Let's get a safety. Yeah. Well, they can't see me under the bleachers. Going short here. That's complete to his tight end. Third and 20. They're going to get a couple yards out of that, but nothing much. All right. Third and 20, boys. They're going to have 19 yards or less. It's going to be blocking here. Defense looks like they expected him to throw it here. Let's get in there. No way. Fourth and 23. All right. And they're on, like, their own. Four yard line or something. It's good news for us. Doing it for you, Pops. Hope they're making plays, even though I'm not really doing anything on defense, unfortunately. All right, 31 21, fourth quarter. We should have good field position. Yeah. Pretty good. Uh, actually, not, not really. But it's all right. I thought he was going to be running a post route. I didn't know Colt was R1. I thought whoever R1 was going to be running a post route and he was going to be wide open. I was just going to I was going to nail him there, dude. That would have been perfect. All right, I'm looking for square or circle. 
Again, on second and ten, it's way back to pass. Beautiful. Over to the left to Storm. Right Sanford. where we wanted it. There's a storm coming, Sarita. You better take shelter. Dude, I miss Sarita. playing high school football. I was a wide receiver back in the day. That was so much fun, man. I really, honestly, truly do miss First it. And ten. I wish I would have been bigger, though. I was, I was a small guy. I mean, I, I, I was tall, but I just wasn't bulky. So, like, I mean, I, I was good, but I wasn't great. Wade to throw. I would have loved to be great, but uh, still, still pretty good. There's this one kid, Emmanuel. Uh, he was, I think, in so freshman years when I played. He was. How tall was he? He was at least like six five, and he was like two twenty. Like he was like the biggest freshman I've ever seen, and he he scored like. I don't even know how many touchdowns over the course of the season, but it, it was like school record stats. Like, it was insane. And then I don't think he ever played after freshman year because, like, he was just so much bigger than everybody else in that moment that he didn't even have to be good. He was just, like, he just ran over everybody. He, I think he played some on varsity, too. He got beat, kind of beat up on varsity, but um, I don't know, man. Good times. I miss it. Uh-oh. Back on defense here. We're going to be making a play. He throws it. Interception. Got it. Let's go. The pick six for the win. Got it done. That was that pick six I was looking for, man. Called it. Dude, this pisses me off so much. That stupid thing that keeps coming up, I don't know how to get rid of it. Hey, D. Um, since you uh, didn't take that break. Yeah. You gonna eat your lunch? Yeah, I was planning to. Well, I mean, if you're gonna work through it, I, I don't want it to spoil or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it looked like it was big. Thing right, that you right. had did here. you not bring lunch? Well, I ate mine. <laughs> you want mine too? Yeah, if you don't, if you're not gonna eat it, I mean. I mean, I didn't really say I wasn't gonna eat it. Thanks, man. You're the best. No, I didn't. Thanks, man. I didn't. Hey, don't don't eat my lunch, man. You're the best, man. You're the long shot, huh? Ha <laughs> ha. way. Yo, D man, you ready? Wait, what's up, man? Hey, what's going on? Yeah, I gotta finish this, guys. Not anymore, you don't. We're busting you out of here. Like I said, man, I gotta finish. I can't do it. <laughs> I'll tell you, boss, you're here till midnight. <laughs> Besides, my son's squeezing his slim fit dressing for nothing. It's my thyroid. Thyroid's a 36 pack of donuts. You're just jealous. This is what a real man looks like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dev, ceremony starts Gross. in 45 minutes and everyone's gonna be there. I know, man. I, I just can't. Can't. Everyone put this together because you're in town. I, I didn't ask him to. You, you all right, man? The coke going? Hell, man, we ain't enough. Come on, D, let's roll. Fine. We ain't leaving here without you. Fellas, come on. Just go to the ceremony. Of course. Colts. Look alive, boys. <sighs> Sorry I'm late. Hope you got an extra shovel for me. And uh pull Can't be mad at him. At being retired and all. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I, I didn't think you would. Come on, man. You're my best friend. All right, you boys gonna slow dance? We're gonna finish this thing. <laughs> Sunset, and we got about 35 minutes to the ceremony. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> All right, All right. Uh, you heard the man. <sighs> Munch, uh, thing weighs a pound. Come on, man. <sighs> One pound? Come on, Munch. I got One a bad pound. thyroid, man. You lift yourself all around all day. Come on, man, that should be easy. Probably don't even think you know what thyroid is. Yeah, it's right here, man. That's your thigh. I'm gonna kick you right in the thyroid. You keep lipping off. 
poor guy. He just constantly gets picked on. He didn't eat people's lunches. He probably wouldn't get it. Where in the Sam Hill of your den? Sorry, coach. We had to get Devin. Well, where'd you get him? In a coal mine? <laughs> that gummit. I had those jerseys dry clean special. No, that's my bad, coach, but maybe no one will notice. Well, they're not blind. Boy, sometimes I think that you have a $20 Stetson on top of a nickel noggin. Come on, line up here. Let's go. They're going to call you in one at a time. Hey, you, you, you stay back. It's all uh, alphabetical order. <laughs> what have you been doing? Rolling around in a pig pen? Yeah, sorry, Coach. I must have brushed up against a dirty truck or something. Oh, don't turn into cold, Tony. <laughs> sure thing, Coach. I wish your daddy was here to witness this. Yeah, me too. You know, he always said, football's family. Here we are. Yes. And record holder in every class of Ryan Murray, the star of the Hicks Show Long Show. Ladies and gentlemen, he's the pride of madness. It's Devin Wade. And when you go out there, it's going to raise us a lot of funds. Go in there and save our team. Bring it back to us, son. <laughs> you got it, Coach. Oh, I love that boy. <laughs> Such a sweet old man. So does nobody know that we quit the show and there's that big falling out? I'm not sure what this time timeline is like or how much time has passed. It kind of seems like it might be the next day. And then nobody knows that we, we bounced out. <laughs> hey, you want another one? Nah, man, one's all I can take. All right, suit yourself. <laughs> Man, I never had a night like that. Never had a day like that either. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm grateful for all of it. Cheers, man. Cheers, brother. <laughs> <sighs> She's back. Julia, what are you doing here? I drove down. I've been trying to get a hold of you for days. Yeah, well, <clears throat> Devin's not coming back to the show. Wait, are you? Look, I understand why you left. But if you come back now, there's still time to get the show back on track. <laughs> no, no way. Not with Fountain still there. I got this, man. Sorry. If we work together, we can get the show away from Ross. What about the Legends game? It'll be at the end of the season where it should have been all along. Huh. That makes sense. It'd be the two of us, though, right? Then I'll do it. Yeah, well, I will only come back on one condition. <laughs> hmm. And when we get back to Austin, you and I go get dinner together. Just the two of us. <laughs> what do you say? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> I'm still in for the show, though. <laughs> hey. All right, well, I guess we'll see you back in Austin. All right, um, you think that old Junker will make it there? I'm certain of it. <laughs> oh. I sound pretty good with that accent, don't I? <laughs> Crazy, man. Yep, I call this puppy Old Faithful. <laughs> Never let me down. Come on, Deb, we ain't got all night, baby. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> it's not gonna start, is it? <laughs> Julia! Julia! Coach? We're back at it. Devin. Uh oh. Come on in. I wanted to, to talk with you before we met with the execs. Right. Coach, I, I just wanted, wanted to, say, to say that... I'm sorry. Uh, I'll go. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to apologize uh, for leaving. I never should have left. So, I'm sorry. Have a seat. Yeah, Coach. So you don't want me to call my cadences? You know, when you got here, I, uh, I asked why you were on long shot. Yeah. <laughs> I never gave you an answer. Well, it's because it's a difficult question. You ever wonder why I was here? Um, uh, I 
guess not. Well, you know I was fired by St. Louis, right? Yeah. Well, years ago, I fought to draft as junior quarterback. This, this kid had all the talent in the world. We talked to Brass and the trading up to get him second overall. Expectations were sky high. <laughs> My career hung in the balance. Mm -hmm. Well, I rushed this kid every step of the way. And in my offense, which is predicated on empty backfields, no extra protection, he was a sitting duck. I mean, heck, our favorite play was the deep dig. <laughs> uh, when he got when he got hurt week one, I hurried him back. And it was all because I had to succeed. I never said this out loud, but what I did, that was abuse. Within two years, no team would touch that kid. He was out of the league. Rams fired me. And I told myself that it was because I chose the wrong guy. But the truth is, I was the wrong guy. A kid, he deserved better. Look, I came on this show to resurrect my career, to show everybody that the great Jack Ford was back. But a coach's job is to serve his players, and I violated that. I should have been there for you. I just, I hope that you'll give me another chance, because I'm now ready to do whatever it takes for you to succeed. That is my lone goal going forward. Wow. I really appreciate that, Coach. That's awesome. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's get to work. Like garbage. You don't you even know, know what position it. Enough. Is. Sir, if I could just oh, say. Oh, no, 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 no. No. From my perspective, two things happen. One, Ross, your on camera behavior was appalling and not in a fun way. All right? Two, Devin chose to take a leave of absence, putting the show at risk. Two wrongs, neither right. We all have our reasons, yeah? I've been in this business for a very long time. And what I've learned is that there's always room for forgiveness. So it seems like we have two options. Put Julia in charge of Longshot and reassign Ross. Sir, thank you, uh, I... No, 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 no. Or we just fire Ross outright. <laughs> the ratings have been through... No, no, no. I've been sitting here listening to what everybody has to say. The only person I haven't heard from is Devin. Superstar, what's it gonna be? Devin, Devin. Kick him Devin. out of there! I took I'm you off kidding. the scrap heap, okay? It's because of me. Every scout out there knows your name. All along, I've been the ally that you never knew you had. Devin. I know what the coaches want, and you don't owe Ross anything. These guys may know the coaches, but I know the owners. Owners? It will matter if he makes you look like a distraction instead of the talent that you are. Devin, Devin, please, 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 please. I'm begging you, please. I have a house. I have, I have uh, children. Uh, Ex-wives. <laughs> I'm going to reassign him. I believe I'll everybody be deserves a second chance. Exactly. So what I'm hearing is that Julia is the problem. Julie is my biggest supporter. Right. No, no. Exactly. Right. So we should just dump Jack Ford. Nope. Jack's my coach. <sighs> what a nice moment for you, Jack. I'm going to let you have it. Ross, if you have any interest in remaining with this organization, and let me tell you, you are pushing it. You'd be wise to zip it now. Yes, sir. Mr. Broad, sir. Julia. 
Congratulations, you're the new executive producer of Long Shot. That's good news Jack, for us. You are Julia's first choice, and now you're mine, babe. Mm -hmm. I'm putting Ross in an advisory role to Long Shot, answering to Julia, and if anybody has any issue with this decision, I kindly invite you to gather your things and watch your tuchus on the way out the door. Yeah. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Stay out of my way. Congratulations. Jack. Coach, good work. Thanks, Coach. Just right. Thank you. We don't want to make enemies. Especially with that guy. He's he's powerful. He's got connections. Thank you. He's not going to be happy about being demoted, but it's better than being fired. I feel like that would have been the wrong move. 